Konnichiwa. This is the Shogunstein. I was browsing the local uh, game store rubbish bin, and I noticed this game, Witches of the Revolution, from Atlas Games. Won the four players, 30 to 60 minute playing time, and was in the rubbish bin for 75% off. There are very few games I won't try for 75% off, but this game... Which is, now, I saw that scary movie with the, the lady who plays chess, which should be a V, not a W. Which is of the revolution is deck building, which me and Little Shogunstein love. We're big fans of Star Realms. And the American Revolution, you had me, plus 75% off, I'm in. So the American Revolution, as you may know or may not know, and I do have a side hustle, a side gig, gig economy, in uh, U.S. history, the American Revolution has uh, many causes. British mercantilism, the trade policies that were ignored with salutary neglect, the British trying to tax the colonies after the uh, French and Indian War, Proclamation of 1763, where the British try to uh, prevent the colonists from moving uh, west, all those taxes, quartering of soldiers, Quebec Act, which the colonists saw as uh, favoring the Catholics in French Canada. How about committees of correspondence? How about the Sons of Liberty? How about Patrick Henry, give me liberty or give me death? How about the, the Boston Massacre? How about the Boston Tea Party? How about Common Sense, Thomas Paine? How about... The uh, Coercive Acts, or what the colonists called the Intolerable Acts. Many, many factors led up to the American Revolution. The last attempt at peace with the Olive Branch Petition. The policies of King George the Third, and him not protecting the unalienable rights of the colonies, him ignoring the colonists' natural rights. Life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. The impact of the Enlightenment. All of those things led to the American Revolution. How about Lexington and Concord? What I didn't know until I got this game was that witches also had a major part of the American Revolution. So to those people who for many years have uh, sat through my side gig, my side hustle in U.S. history, I apologize for leaving out the, the witches. So this is a deck-building game. And you get uh, four different uh, witches that you can play as. And like a typical deck builder, you get, uh, you know, the, the, the starter cards are okay. But you want to kind of thin the deck a little bit. So you get four different uh, uh, witches to choose from. And you get a starting hand of 15 uh, cards. You're going to draw a hand of uh, five or if you're playing solo, this has a solo mode, you get uh, six. And you see there are icons, and you see there are these like uh, stars, and they're going to help you do things. So you got, uh, you know, the game is going to work with, uh, you know, you get a recruit, which is a way to get a, a good card into your deck. You can, you're going to add an event, and if you get too many events, it's going to mess up your Liberty track and ultimately lead to the end of the game. If you have too many events out there, you're going to act or recruit. So you're either going to uh, get rid of one of these events and you'll see you got some icons here and you got icons on your uh, starter deck there. And that's how you're going to get rid of these guys. Or... You're going to recruit and or recruit, you'll see, and you see here on your Seekers, you can do that. And then you're going to discard if you want, and then you draw back up to five. Problem with that is if you discard too many times, you're going to be going up on the, the, the tracks, you're going to be losing cards. And that could speed up the end of the game. So on the one hand, you want to thin your deck and get rid of some of those bad cards. Maybe you want to draw up to something new that you just got. 
the other hand, if you uh, go too uh, quickly, you're going to make it harder to win the, the game. So you got these objectives, again, related to the American Revolution. Retake Bunker Hill, actually fought on Breed's Hill. Resurrection of Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin uh, was a player. He gets tired. Hate the game, not the player. By the way, Ben Franklin, he likes Pam. We got uh, close the otherworldly portal in Boston. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Boston. Maybe they can keep that open. And then uh, you got Washington onto the East River. I thought that was the, the Delaware. But yes, don't forget there were campaigns in New York at the, the beginning of the war. So you'll see that uh, you need these icons to get rid of the objectives. You need four objectives to win. As you, again, as you uh, defeat the events, you're going to pick these guys up, and that's going to help you uh, complete the objectives. So, rules don't seem that complicated. And again, as the events, more events go on, they're going to mess up, make it mess things up for you, make it a little more difficult to win the game. You get too many events out there, you're going to lose the, the game. Now, I like here that on the Liberty track, because remember, one of the things that they were worried about was tyranny. Remember what Madison talked about, the tyranny of the majority. Big thing with Federalist 10. They felt King George III was tyrannical and that he violated our natural rights. So, again, if you get too many events going to the Liberty track here, it's going to mess it up, and eventually you can lose the game. So you're going to win the game by completing and defeating the four objectives, or you can lose the game if tyranny, and again, you don't have Federalist 10 to save you from those factions. The game is lost. The game is lost with the events. Or... You've gone through the event deck, and you haven't won as well. So, don't know much about this game, but again, deck building, American Revolution, 75% off. I'll give it a try. Why not? So, we'll give you our thoughts on it later, but this is just a little look at what was in the box and historical overview. This is the Shogun's theme.